Welcome to Y Lecter Online. In our next example, we're tossing two dies. And we, again, we have two events, two probabilities. The probability that A will occur is equal to the probability that die one equals a two. The probability of two is equal to the probability that the sum of the two dies equals 10. Now, if one of the two dies equals two, then there's no possible way we can have a sum of 10 with both dies together. So therefore, they are mutually exclusive. And of course, if they're mutually exclusive, then we know that the probability of A and B occurring at the same time, that must be equal to zero. And of course, if they're mutually exclusive and we draw a Venn diagram, we can then see that there's no overlap, that there's no possible way that event A and event B can occur at the same time. Also, if they're mutually exclusive, that means they cannot be independent events. Let's see now. We know that the probability of A occurring is 1 out of 6. 1 die equals a 2 can only occur 1 out of 6 as a probability. What about probability of B? How do we get 10s? Well, let's see. The combinations are that we can have a 4 and a 6, we can have a 5 and a 5, and we can have a 6 and a 4. So out of the 36 possible combinations with two dies, only three of those can add up to 10. And that means that 3 out of 36, which is equal to 1 out of 12, is the probability that B can occur. So that means that once we know the outcome of A, the probability of B will be different. For example, let's say we toss dies a die A, and it comes out to be a 5, then there's a 1 out of 6 possibility that both of them together will have a sum of 10. Or if we throw a 4, when we throw die 1, then there's a, there's a 1 out of 6 probability that we'll get a sum of 10. But in other words, once we know the outcome of A, if A, for example, is 3 or less, then there's no probability it will get B, then the probability of B will be 0. So you can see that the outcome of B does depend entirely on the outcome of A, and therefore, they're mutually dependent events and they're mutually exclusive. And that is how we know.